today we have another problem where we have the polynomial x cubed minus 6x squared plus 6x minus 5 is 0. And we want to find what the three x's are. So there are actually lots of ways of solving this problem, but we're going to only explain two. The first one involves Ruffini's rule. It states that this polynomial, or can be, or it's just like basically any polynomial. In fact, it can be broken up into x plus a times x squared plus or minus some something, something something. So we need to find the roots, or our first goal is to find a. One way to find the roots is by dividing the first coefficient or the last coefficient by the first coefficient. So positive or negative 5 divided by positive or negative 1 since the coefficient of x cubed is 1. This is positive or negative 5. So now we assume that positive 5 works and to prove that we plug it into the original equation. So 5 cubed minus 6 times 5 squared plus 6 times 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. Now we just solve this. So 125 minus 150 plus 30 minus 5 is indeed 0. So we know that x1 is equal to 5. Since we proved that, we don't need to find what the negative thing is since we already have a correct answer. Now we use Ruffini's rule. Well, first we can write this out. So the original equation, so we proved that a is 5. It is now x minus 5 times x squared plus, I don't know. But th that's a quadratic equation or formula, and we need to find that. One way of doing that is by using Ruffini's like formula. So we know that 5 works, so we plug the root 5 in, and we plug in or put in all the coefficients. The first coefficient is, well, x cubed is just 1, since it's 1 times x cubed. Our second coefficient is negative 6 from the negative 6x squared. And then our third coefficient is positive 6. And our last is negative 5. Our first step, bring the 1 down. 1 times 5 is 5, minus 6, negative 1. Our negative 1 times 5, negative 5, plus 6 is positive 1. Positive 1 times 5 is 5. And 5 minus 5 is 0. So that's also proof for 5 being a root. But we now have our quadratic equation. So this part is just x squared minus x plus 1. So we can now, we have the first part and the last part. So this is now x minus 5 times x squared minus x plus 1 is 0. So we already have x1. But we need, so when this is equal to 0, we solve for that. So x squared minus x plus 1, 0. Now we use the quadratic equation to solve. So x is equal to, well, this is just, just 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 over 2. So, x is equal to 1 plus or minus, well, it's a negative coefficient, negative 3. Since um, it wants us to find all the answers, imaginary or complex, well, we can still reduce this into x is equal to 1 plus or minus, well, this is just 3 times i squared since you, we use the imaginary number i, since i squared is equal to negative 1. Since there's a square, we can take it out. Plus or minus i times squared of 3 over 2. So we can just state our three answers of x. 
The second method is much more simple. We use the cross multiplying method. So let's do that. So x cubed minus 6x squared plus, well, this is a minus 5. We, want, we actually make it 5x plus x minus 5. Well, oh, sorry, no parentheses about that, but equals 0. The main reason we did that is because we broke it up because there was a 5, and um, we can make this eventually into a square, which has the factor x minus 5. Now we have, we can factor out the x here um, and, and to the point where we don't want to. So t when we take out the x, you get x squared minus 6x plus, just, just plus 5, plus x minus 5 is equal to 0. We see that this here is indeed well, we can use cross multiplying, so this is x times, um, I'll just use brackets in here, x times uh, x minus 1 times x minus 5 plus x minus 5 equals 0. We now see that we can factor out a factor of x minus 5. So we do that. So x minus 5 times x times x minus 1. Well, this is just plus 1 is equal to 0. We have two, pos two cases. Our first case, x minus 5 is equal to 0. x is 5. That seems to check out. Now our second case is where this is is where when you multiply this out this is x squared minus x so our second case is where x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0 in which we use the quadratic equation to solve x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 over 2 x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 2. Now you might be saying, well, hey, this doesn't work because it's a negative, but we have to find all the real or complex solutions. So um, we use the imaginary number i, in which i squared is equal to negative 1. So um, this is really just x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 3i squared over 2. We see that there's a square. We can take it out. So x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of i times the square root of 3 over 2. So we have three answers. The first one, where x is 5. The second one, where x is equal to 1 plus i times the square root of 3 over 2. And our third one, where x is equal to 1 minus i times the square root of 3 over 2. So we now have our three answers.